Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul. It is a great honor to be with you today, December 21, winter solstice, the switchover from the darkest day back to the light. So a great day to be commenting on Dagon En, day eight of the 10 Das. Today we focus on the greatest gratitude. It has been a very uh, excellent last two weeks <clears throat> in which we focused on the previous seven of the 10 Das, Da Ai, Da Quan Shu, Da Tsebei, Da Guang Ming, Da Chen Bei, Da He She. <clears throat> and then yesterday we focused on Da Chang Sheng. Respectively, they stand for the greatest love, forgiveness, compassion, light, the greatest humility, the greatest harmony, and the greatest flourishing. And today we're focusing on the greatest gratitude. There is certainly no shortage of opportunities to be grateful. And yet, we tend to find a lot of them in our life. I looked around this morning for the image to post with my uh, calling for today to uh, for those to become aware of today's live stream and it was it was a, a beautiful statement um, we don't realize you know how much we have to be grateful for until we stop and look and when we are grateful we have enough and that was the uh, image and that was the words on the image I posted this morning for a video calling to all of you to come <clears throat> there's a lot of activity today a lot of people going on Facebook live stream and they are um, doing soulfulness activities, activities related to oneness and oneness mindsets, uh, oneness thinking, um, oneness creation, so that we can, as a humanity, as a society, as a whole, move forward in oneness. And uh, I was great, to, I was very happy to see those on my timeline. So you're welcome to uh, stop by my page and see some of those. <clears throat> Yesterday was a very, very, very powerful day. Um, unfortunately, not as many people as I would like to have seen the, the live stream came. It was a day in which we focused on the greatest flourishing, Da Chang Sheng. And during that live stream, uh, uh, played Master Shah's Chanting the Ten Das, which is a huge blessing for each and every one watching. And it was also a huge blessing for everyone that excuse me, is, um, we'll go back and watch it. It was day seven of the 10 days of the 10 Da's. I also commented that, you know, people should really take advantage of the 10 Da cards. Um, you know, Da Chang Sheng is well known for bringing financial blessings. And so many people beg for that, want that, but they don't realize that that simple calligraphy card could bring significant benefits financially to your life. So if you're interested in that, go back and watch that on my recording on my timeline. For those that are new watching for the first time, <clears throat> I've been doing these live streams for about a year, and they are designed to assist each and every one of us to align our soul, heart, mind, and body to our source, to our creator, and to our own soul. And all of the teachings are soul-based and soul-related, very practical techniques, very uh, grounded uh, practices that assist. So today, Facebook is definitely taking its time and gathering new souls. Well, little by little, it's out there grabbing a few more. Maybe I'm just talking faster than normal. Not sure which. Let me clear my throat a bit here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I invite each and every one of you to become more familiar with uh, Master Shah. He has quite a few um, activities and events, including a free event that's happening this uh, New Year's. So if you have not already went to drsha.com, by all means do so. <clears throat> Register for uh, the event. Register for the New Year's Blessing. It will be uh, in all time zones, and it is worldwide. Currently, there's over 4,000 people registered. Uh, is that right? <clears throat> I know it's on its way to that if it's not already there for this uh, once a year event and it's a phenomenal opportunity to be in the presence of Master Shah and to receive the blessings. To the best of my knowledge it is on telephone. I don't know if they're going to switch that at all to video but for right now we know 100% is on telephone and so you can pick it up no matter where you're at. 
<coughs> this year he'll be offering some huge, huge, huge blessings. Um, so trust me, um, you do want to register for that. And as always, my throat has been fine. I have been talking to somebody else in Sydney, Australia for the previous hour, and I had no problem whatsoever with my throat, no problem whatsoever with the, uh, with the congestion. And um, this is the nature of spiritual purification. This is the nature of service. When I, when I come into the service, almost always you hear me coughing. I deeply apologize. <coughs> it wasn't obviously something that was there an hour ago, but it decided to present itself now. So hopefully it will clear and I'll be doing better. Um, Health-wise, I'm fine. Please don't worry. It's just uh, congestion. So welcome to uh, Kristen Strachan. Welcome, M.A. Drade. Aloha, Ferdy. And welcome also, Kristen Rojas. Thank you for being an awesome universal servant. Aloha and welcome, Jennifer Cress Smith. And welcome, Heather Clem. Uh, welcome also to Janice Crosby. And aloha, Deborah Anderson. Welcome, Nina Midway. And welcome also to uh, Pamela. Glad you're able to get in, Pamela. You know, I, I, I do believe it's a, it makes a difference when I go live on uh, the computer versus on a telephone. I've had this discussion with, with other people. and Like, no, it doesn't make a difference. I, I believe it does. I think that Facebook's algorithm finds different people when you come in on the computer versus on the telephone. Welcome, Seema. <clears throat> so... All right, so let's go ahead and I want to hear from you. We're in the holidays. We're very close to uh, Christmas. We're very close to uh, a lot of times when people become very, very emotional. Um, sadness and grief kick in. Uh, memories kick in. <clears throat> so I want to hear from you. What are you grateful for? this holiday season? Three things, not one thing, three things that you're grateful for. And I don't want you to choose the first three. I want to make it hard on you. It's very easy to choose the first three. I'm grateful for my kids. I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for, you know, the first three are always the easy ones. That doesn't help us to learn gratitude. I want you to go past the first three and find three more. Choose the Four, five, and six. <clears throat> I want to see your posts. Okay, thank you, Kristen, for posting that. Yeah, I understand. Facebook jail is a is a bit of a bear. Facebook likes to control things. All of that, all of the real news that they like to call false news, like to control those things. They like to control a lot of things, but they are. Um, a good medium through which we can share this wisdom. So I am very grateful to Facebook for that. So I'm waiting to see some of your posts on your gratitude. I will talk about number four, five, and six. I am grateful that, <clears throat> that the tools that are available to me uh, continue to expand. It's, it's absolutely amazing how many tools are available that I can serve you with. And they just keep getting more. It's not like, you know, okay, you only have these. There's more and more that become available to me. Welcome, Don. Welcome, Nicole. And welcome, Pamela. I'm asking everybody to post three things they are grateful for. Not number one, two, and three, but instead post number four, five, and six. So that you can go a little deeper in your gratitude. Second thing I'm grateful for, I'm grateful that my relationship uh, with my wife is actually getting a lot deeper with time. <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised by that, but I think it's a wonderful thing. So I'm grateful for that. And the third thing that I'm grateful for, uh, I'm grateful for the miracle of technology. As hair, as hair, as 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 crazy making as it is, it can be sometimes. It is an amazing, amazing uh, avenue through which a lot can get accomplished. People can be touched, lives can be saved, and more. So I'm grateful for that. So I don't think those are uh, normal things you normally hear. Those are examples. 
semen says it's nasty cost in September, not going away, even after antibiotics and steroids. Whoa. Could be chemtrails. There's some pretty nasty stuff out there. <clears throat> Pamela says she's grateful. Welcome, Carl. She's grateful that she's learned to be grateful. She's grateful that her husband are learning how to love each other and joke about the times that we didn't, but thought we were. She's grateful how her guides and higher self is leading her humbly through the blessings of that are coming and of the pain from doing the forgiveness prayers. Wonderful. Good observation. Ferdy's grateful uh, that he's opened his eyes this morning, grateful that he's walking, and grateful that he can breathe. Good. That's definitely going a few more layers deep. <clears throat> uh, Kristen Strachan, grateful for the holy beings who walk with her and strengthen her, keep her safe through the day, and guard her and shine their light upon her pathway. Beautiful. And welcome Kathy Arnold. I'm grateful to find her, my Facebook page. <clears throat> and you are forgiven <clears throat> for being late. <laughs> All right. Welcome also to Erica Rimmer and Carol Frederico. Welcome, Lucia. Thank you for joining. All right, and welcome Jewel Warner. We're starting to populate Facebook. We're 11 minutes in. A lot of the locals. You see, Kristen, look, there's a lot of the locals. A lot of the folks that normally are here aren't finding me. I tell you, Facebook, the, you know, their, their, their algorithm when you're on a computer is very different than on a telephone. <clears throat> and sometimes here's what happens when, when I get knocked off. I'm going to go start talking about the subject matter in just a moment. But when I get knocked off on the telephone and then I restart live a few minutes later, it grabs an entirely different audience. The people that can find me again are the only ones that come back. So, quite interesting. Okay, let us go ahead and connect. <clears throat> Place our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position, dropping our left hand in front of our heart center. Right hand gently remain pointed towards heaven. Let's close our eyes. Let us truly connect this special time of year of winter solstice. Dear our beloved divine creator, all layers of God and the Tao and the source, do our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, divine endowed temples whole, all the beings of light, serving the planet of the light side, stars, planets, galaxies, and universes included, angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, and ascended masters, gurus, lamas, sifus, saints, buddhas, bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Nam Amitofa, beloved Konya, we love you, honor, and respect you, and I bow down to each and every one of you. We ask for your presence today in the highest and best way to serve each and every one of us on our soul journey, to help us align our souls, hearts, minds, and bodies to the ten da, the ten greatest qualities in life, and most importantly, help us to have more gratitude in life. There is a significant lack of gratitude throughout humanity. There is a need and a desire for more, 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 when if we simply recognized all that we have, we would recognize that we have enough. We ask that you please help us to remove negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, and attachments that inhibit us from being in this higher place of gratitude. <clears throat> Extremely grateful for this opportunity to receive your blessings. We ask forgiveness for this in all lifetimes that we have offered a lack of gratitude, a lack of appreciation when we could have, when it could have made a significant difference for the the person that was hoping to receive that gratitude and that appreciation. We ask forgiveness for our lack of gratitude and appreciation for all that we currently have in our life, all that we have ever received in our life, including the intangible things like wisdom, education, and experiences. We ask forgiveness for these and ask that you help enlighten us so that we have gratitude for all things physical and non-physical, experiences, thoughts, and more. Dear the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, respect you. We ask at this time that you please come to join us. And we invite all souls in all universes to please chant love, peace, and harmony with us at this time. <clears throat> so let us chant together to offer this service. For those that are new watching for the first time, this is a blessing. Make a request. 
Lula, Lula, Li. 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 Lula, 我爱转眼泪，望明容，耳目失声，相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more round. Lula, lula, li. 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 Lula. 我爱我心儿里，我爱自然人类，万里萦绕，耳目失声，相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. 好，好，好 ，Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone for coming. Thank you for hitting the share button, letting other people know about this. So, welcome also to Kathy Schneider. Aloha, Johnny Mambold. Welcome, Johnny,、uh, Juliet, Julie Abbott. Aloha, Vanessa Olivar, and welcome also to Angelie Flauta. Aloha, Zilki, and welcome also Lisa Carter. Welcome, Carol Whitney. And、uh, if I missed any names, forgive me. Double virtue for you. <clears throat> so thank you all for coming. Today is is a really important day. I find it interesting that the greatest gratitude comes on the winter solstice, December twenty first. This is the day where we move from the darkest days to back towards the light. This is the day that is acknowledged as winter, and in the、uh, solstice seasons. It is a a turning over of a new leaf, if you will. In the winter solstice, there are many messages about it. The messages that resonate with me that I'll share with you is it's a time for going inward, so that we can heal and rejuvenate ourselves, so that we can、um, prune those things that are no longer valuable to us, and prepare for our new birth as we move into the springtime. And gratitude. Is one of the most important keys to accomplish that. So what I want to do is I want to start out by doing a flow、uh, from the soul of Daganan, and see what additional information and wisdom may be gained from this beautiful soul, and then we will move forward with the Tenda、uh, chanting mantra and practices as we have all this、uh, last two weeks. Okay. So I will now do this flow. <coughs> Ayayoo, 
Hao. This is the soul of the mantra Dagan Un, the greatest gratitude. It is my honor and deep privilege to be present and have a voice at this time. My statement, Dagan Un, my gratitude goes far deeper than the face value. I am a way of life. I am in every breath as a possibility. I am available to everyone's thought. I am your creator's breath. One need only think me, speak me, and act from my place of knowingness. In being created, my beloved creator did not have to try. He simply peeled a piece of his body off as gratitude is an aspect of divine creator and blew on it like a leaf flowing from his hand. And I came like a leaf floating down to humanity with the mantra Dagan Un to serve you to remind you all of the innate naturalness of this breath of your Creator. Why has it been so difficult for you, for others, to be grateful, to find the beauty in the various parts of your life? One answer is the sheer over inundation of input there is not enough stillness there is not enough mindfulness there is not enough gratitude for when one is still present to the moment there are a quadrillion things to be grateful for from the sound of a fly's wings flapping to the brush of the wind on your cheek to the warmth of the sun on your face to the sound of the child's cries in your ears to the fullness of your stomach to the senses that you have the ability to witness this most incredible experience you call life. There is truly boundless and incalculable things to be grateful for if one could only become quiet and still enough to be fully present. It is the lack of presence that is the source of the lack of gratitude. One begets the other. For it is your nature as a being of the divine creator to have this already in you but it has been ignored and pushed aside in priority to the other forms of input I give you this message so that each and every day you take time to truly be still 
and allow yourself to be in a place of oneness with your Creator. In this place of oneness is the gratitude that can be birthed into a baby and a full-grown, grateful adult. Gratitude will change your life. It will bring to you all that you wish to create. It will bring to you the relationships you want and the ones you do not will dissolve. Gratitude will bring to you financial flourishing and it will keep away the flourishing if it is not honored. Gratitude is literally the gas pedal of your life. If you wish to have more of what you want, be more grateful in every area of your life. For it is the acknowledgement of enough that is equal to the acknowledgement of the Creator. It is the acknowledgement of the Creator that places you within alignment. And when you are within the alignment, you are in a place of reception. Therefore, what you have put forth can come into fruition free of blockages. Listen again to this wisdom, for it comes from the source, through me, the soul of the mantra, Daganan. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to have to write that one down. That was a good one. Welcome, Monica. Staying up late to be with us. Good to see you here. Welcome, Kayla. Aloha, uh, uh, Aspasia. And Lisa Zarniak. Welcome, Larissa. Welcome also to Brittany Lawanda. <clears throat> so that flow from the soul of gratitude, Dagon Un, was quite pure. Um, very, very um, lucid in the um, in the information. Not something I can make up, that's for sure. I'm just not that intelligent. Um, so I'll have to go back and listen to it myself and grab some nuggets of that wisdom. <clears throat> Master Shah, when he brought the Ten Da to humanity, he received it a few years ago. Most of the things that he receives is... <laughs> It's funny to hear him talk about it. He's like, yeah, you know, I was just on the airplane and heaven said, get your pen and paper ready. And he pulled it out and he wrote down in 45 minutes, he writes, you know, the 220 lines of the Tao or, or you know, the Ten Da, whatever it is. And so this is how he receives the information. And since then, it's been expanded upon. In the Soul Over Matter book, uh, he wrote on the first seven Da's. The last three are not as easily and readily available in print <clears throat> and so I encourage you to write them down uh, as Kristen uh, Kristen Rojas is a wonderful servant keep an eye on her posts she puts these information in there so the lines for the mantra of the eighth da go like this ba da gan an dao sheng du yang zai what does that translate to? Ba ga da nun ba da gan un. Da means greatest. Da gan un means the greatest gratitude. Ba is the number eight. So the eighth of the ten das is the greatest gratitude. The next line. Dao Sheng De Yang. Dao Sheng De Yang. I tell you, this was one of those lines that carries great depth. Listen to what those four simple words mean. Dao Source Creates. And De, D-E, De. 
the action and the expression of Tao nourishes everyone and everything. So, De is like the outward expression of creation. Tao source creates, and De, the action and expression of Tao source, nourishes everyone and everything. What does that mean? Think about it. Go back to the flow. I'm going to try to remember some of the things that came through. When we are in stillness, we are in a place of reception. We can then receive that which we have asked for and, and brought into our manifestation and hoped for. But we cannot receive it until we're in that place of deep gratitude, which is deep alignment. What does this say? This says, Dao Sheng De Yang. The Dao Source creates. So for those that have squared heads, what is Dao Source? It is another name for creator, the, that, that one which created all things. You call it God, some call it other names. It doesn't matter. Don't square your head. Dao Source creates. The same thing that created us nourishes us. Contemplate this. How far are we from the nourishment of our Creator? We think that we have to be something, do something, to have something, when all we really have to do is be in alignment with our Creator. Creator created us. Creator nourishes us. How does the Creator do that? The Creator built our vessel, this human vessel, to receive the nectar from heaven, the nectar from Mother Earth. Heaven and Mother Earth are mother and father. They are the sperm and the egg. They are what created the human being. Do you think the mother and the father didn't feed their baby? We are all being nurtured. What inhibits us from receiving that nurturing? Lack of gratitude and lack of the other of the da's that we have uh, spoke about. The lack of gratitude, the lack of love, the lack of forgiveness, the lack of humility, the lack of harmony, a lack of uh, 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 light. They all work against us, close down our channel, the channel that is between heaven and mother earth, the channel that is nurturing and nourishing us 100% of the time. Imagine we were, uh, you know, line four, uh, da da, excuse me, um, line four, the uh, uh, da guang ming, right? The greatest light. I am within Tao. Tao is within me. Um, wo, wo zai guang, wo zai guang zhong, dao guang zai wo zhong. Wo zai dao guang zhong, dao guang zai wo zhong. I am within Tao light. Tao light is within me. We look at what this is saying. Tao source creates us, and the, the Tao source action nourishes us. Same thing. We are always within this Tao Source Light. Tao Source Light is always within us. Why are we so far from it? Negative mindsets, negative attitudes, negative beliefs, closed heart, lack of purity in our heart, lack of alignment to our source, selfishness, greed, corruption, fear, all of these things that separate us from source, therefore we don't realize we're in this channel. We don't realize that Tao Source is in us and we are in Tao Source. The message from the mantra, Da Gan Un, sit, be still, be in stillness. Be in the place of gratitude where you can hear the fly's wings, where you can feel the brush of the wind on your face, this warmth of the sun on your skin, where you can hear the baby's voice in your ear, where you can feel the pulse of your heart. This is when you're in a place of oneness and alignment. This is when you can be grateful for all of these experiences and more. The comment from Daganan was that there are over a trillion things to be grateful for, but we are so blocked that we can't even find them. How many can you find? How many can you be grateful for? What can you do to open up your gratitude to your spouse, to your children, to your um, uh, family and friends? What can you do to show gratitude 
to your creator, which nourishes you with heaven's energy, earth's energy, constantly feeding you, nurturing you with heaven's nectar, earth's nectar. What can you do to clear the blockages, widen the channel? What can you do to allow more of it in? You can close down the sources of input, turn off the news. You can turn off the television stations. Maybe make an agreement to only watch two or three shows uh, instead of too many. Make an agreement to not watch things that are horrific and uh, very, very disgusting. Make agreements to uh, soften your heart and instead of keeping your mind full with all of the things that happen from technology. I just stated I'm grateful for technology, but the reality is it keeps me from doing things like a nice meditation as often as I need to do it. So, uh, you know, I am no, no worse or better than you guys. I am just on the same learning path. Doesn't mean that the information is not accurate. So as we move into higher layers of gratitude, let us keep these uh, truths in mind. The second phrase, Dao Sheng De Yang. What's the first phrase? Ba Da Gan An Dao Sheng De Yang. Dao Source creates and De, the action, nourishes everyone and everything, not just you, everything. Everything is nourished by the Creator, everything is given the life essence to continue moving forward by the creator i think we have a lot to be grateful for the third line zai pei zi hui zai pei zi hui dao source cultivates and bestows wisdom and intelligence upon everyone and everything what was the first line? Dao source creates and Dao source nourishes. Is that difference than Dao source cultivates and bestows wisdom and intelligence? Yes, because wisdom and intelligence has to do with your heart. It has to do with your soul heart alignment. The other has to do with your physical life. Okay, Dao Source creates, Dao Source nourishes. What does nourishing mean? Like the mother uh, nursing the child, nourishing. Okay, So Dao Source creates our life, nourishes our life. But not only does Dao Source do that, it does it through um, cultivating and bestowing wisdom and intelligence. Now, don't you find it's interesting that these words by Master Shaw were flowed, four words, Dao Pei zi hui. Very short. Zai pei zi hui. Zai pei zi hui. Three letters, three letters, two letters, three letters. Zai pei zi hui. But it means so much. Dao Source cultivates and bestows wisdom and intelligence on everyone and everything. That's a whole lot of sentence to cover four very short words. Why does it mean so much? Because in the ancient traditional Chinese uh, words, ones that very few Chinese know today, one word can carry these very deep sacred meanings. So these four words together carry these sentences of deep sacred meaning. So when you are chanting the simple line, Ba da gan an dao sheng du yang zai pei zi hui that simple mantra wow clearing so many blockages helping you cultivate uh, intelligence and wisdom helping you release blockages to intelligence and wisdom spiritual intelligence and wisdom the kind of stuff that moves you away from selfishness and moves you towards selflessness it's assisting you when you're chanting it you're receiving nourishment from heaven nourishment from mother earth it is not a small thing to just simply chant this you must understand the deeper wisdom behind it what you chant is what you become 
Welcome Ilona. Welcome Diana Victoria. Welcome Tradizel. Welcome uh, Sharon Matutino. And welcome also to Atena. Welcome Tammy Lee Blake and Dove Sobaron. And Linda Smith Deacons. Welcome. If I missed you, welcome Naz Khan. The fourth line Dao Un Yong Sun. Dao Un Yong Sun. What does it translate to? The honor, favor, and grace of Tao Source should remain in our hearts and souls forever. The honor, favor, and grace of Tao Source should remain in our hearts and souls forever. All four lines together. The eighth of the ten Da qualities is greatest gratitude. Tao Source creates and the nourishes Tao Source of everyone and everything. Tao Source cultivates and bestows wisdom and intelligence upon everyone and everything. The honor, favor, and grace of Tao Source should remain in our hearts and souls forever. Let's think this backwards. The honor, the favor, and the grace of Tao Source should be held in our hearts with the deepest gratitude. Why? Because it birthed us, it feeds us, it gives us divine wisdom, cultivates intelligence, heart intelligence. It cultivates it through our experiences. It cultivates it through our thoughts, words, and actions. Tao Source loves us unconditionally. No judgments whatsoever. If you grew up in an environment where you believe that there is judgment by your creator, I encourage you to let go of that um, false teaching. And if it still bothers you for me to say that, I encourage you to ask why there is a value in believing that your creator is a mean person or a mean soul. Tao Source creates and nourishes, gives us life, gives us everything, asks nothing in return. The ultimate unconditional servant asks nothing in return. Wouldn't the highest honor be to hold it in our heart with the greatest honor, the greatest favor, and the greatest grace? That's the fourth line. Such wisdom in these four lines. Unbelievable and incredible wisdom. Uh, and such blessings to have a deep comprehension of this. Such huge, huge, huge blessings. So now let us chant together these four lines. And this will assist us to purify and cleanse. <clears throat> there are many that came in late, so we'll do another forgiveness practice for our lack of gratitude. So placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, we drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Let's close our eyes and let's do a forgiveness practice with heaven for our lack of gratitude. If it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator, the Tao, the source, by whatever name you go by, my name is Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. So state your name three times. I wish to sincerely apologize my lack of comprehension, understanding, and wisdom that you not only created me but nurture me in each and every moment of this life that you not only nurture me in this life but in all time i sincerely apologize my lack of awakening that you provide for me great wisdom and conditions that I can more fully develop and awaken my heart to selflessness, to unconditionalness. All of the times you give me life and health, I have not been grateful. Forgive me for all the times you have given me financial blessings of any kind, and I have not bowed down in my heart with gratitude. Please forgive me for all the relationships I have ever had that have benefited my life. I sincerely apologize to all of these souls 
my lack of gratitude to all of the souls that I have ever judged or been critical of. Please forgive me for not comprehending the deeper lessons that I could have learned and with gratitude been grateful for those lessons that you are trying to offer me. For all of the souls that I have not shown gratitude to, including and especially my beloved mother earth for the oxygen water and life you give me for the sunshine that the beloved son gives me please forgive me my lack of honoring and gratitude as i chant this mantra daganan can you please bless me to release these blockages and further align to the heart of the greatest gratitude Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let us chant together. Bada, and if you need the words, please look at um, Kristen's post. She just posted it. Bada ganan, dao shang yi, dao shang du yang, zai pei tsu hui. Dao an yong sun ba da gan an dao sheng du yang zai pei tsu hui dao an yong sun ba da gan an Dao Shung Du Yang Zai Pei Tzu Hui Dao An Yong Sun Ba Da Gan An Dao Shung Du Yang Zai Pei Tzu Hui Dao an yong sun Ba da ganan Dao sheng du yang Zai pei tzu hui Dao an yong sun Three more times Ba da ganan Dao sheng du yang Zai pei tzu hui Dao an yong sun Ba da ganan Dao sheng du yang Zai Pei tzu hui dao an yong sun. Last one. Ba da gan an dao sheng du yang. Zai pei tzu hui dao an yong sun. The eighth of the ten da qualities is greatest gratitude. Dao source creates and the the action and expression of Dao source nourishes everyone and everything. Dao source cultivates and bestows wisdom and intelligence upon everyone and everything. The honor, favor, and grace of Tao Source should remain in our hearts and souls forever. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is today's wisdom and teachings on this. Please share anything, any insights you have received, uh, any aha moments. If you have third eye and you saw anything occurring, uh, as far as when we were chanting, please share. Welcome, um, Susan Birchmore. Welcome, Ford. Welcome, Jagmeet. Aloha, Pat. Welcome, Sarah Nichols. And aloha, uh, Larissa. Welcome, also, Michelle Lynn.
So I'll wait to see any comments that you might have. Um, if you came in a little bit late, uh, around the 20 minute mark, I offered, or 15 minute mark, somewhere in between then, I offered a divine flow from the soul of Dagon Un. It was very profound and worthy of watching the recording again uh, because uh, the wisdom in there was, was very important to hear, to assist us in his life. Uh, Master Shah uh, has very generously uh, posted the 10 Da's, and I'll put it in here for you. This is the YouTube video that I just posted that Master Shah chants all 10 of the 10 Da's. I was listening to it all day yesterday. It's just so healing, so cathartic. Um, very, very beautiful, very powerful mantra. And for all of you that are not familiar with it, uh, Kristen, if you wouldn't mind grabbing um, the New Year's Eve information from uh, drshaw.com and posting it. Um, Master Shah does, is very, very hard to catch him live anymore at all. It's just very, very hard to catch him live. Um, the retreats that he's doing now are advanced retreats, so if you haven't been following him for the last couple of years, it's it's, it's almost impossible to attend the retreat now. Um, so to for him to be available via either telephone or video is rare. Uh, on New Year's, for, for the past 10 plus years, he has been doing a New Year's blessing. And if you truly know who Master Shah is, this is not just some guy uh, on a phone doing blessings. Uh, this is something that brings very positive impact to Mother Earth and to all universes. This is not uh, a small soul we're talking about here. Master Shah is an extraordinary being, and you need to do your homework if you uh, need to second guess that. And so he will be offering uh, complimentary blessings for New Year's, not something you want to miss. You do need to be on the call, or the, uh, uh, I think it's just a call this year, but um, you do need to be on the call to receive the blessings. So that means set your alarm if you need to. I don't really know what the time frames are he's going to be doing it. But when you register, you will know that. And Kristen will drop that post in here anytime if she hasn't already. There it is. Thank you, Kristen. Uh, so do register. And more importantly, share this with everybody you love and care about. It does not matter if they know who Master Shaw is or not. The blessings they will receive will literally change their blueprint of their life. Okay, because he's an extraordinary master. If you've enjoyed me, you've seen any of the blessings I can offer, I do not do any of them. I had zero abilities before I met Master Shah. He transmits power to me. I offer a blessing. Miracles are occurring. Do you think that's me? Ha! You're kidding yourself. It's Master Shah. It's his channel. And he takes no credit. He is a direct servant of our creator. And so uh, to be in his field, to receive the blessings, I cannot state enough. Sign up, sign up, sign up, and share with your friends. Uh, you know, if we can get 10,000 people to sign up, it wouldn't be enough because when he transmits power to you, which he will do on that day, he will transmit very special blessings to people. That is more light bulbs in the world. If you have a dark, uh, 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 you know, massive coliseum or a big, 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 massive building and it's 100% dark, you put on one 100 watt light bulb you won't see the corners of that big dark room. You'll barely see where the light bulb came on. But every time a new 100 watt light bulb is turned on, the room becomes brighter, 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 brighter. When Master Shah delivers a blessing to you, you become one of those 100 watt light bulbs that help make, bring light to humanity. And the blessings he delivers is permanent. It stays with your soul forever. So it is a permanent light bulb uh, that will assist you on your soul journey forever. Not a small gift. I have been to the previous eight, eight or nine um, uh, New Year's Eve blessings, not to be missed. So I can't express to you enough uh, how much important it is to do that. Uh, and Kristen has posted it there. Look on her chat box. And so thank you all for coming. I know I've been talking. I don't see any posts on today's practice. So I'm guessing you were uh, just enthralled with what I was sharing. But anyway, it's the end of the hour. Uh, it's going to into the weekend. It's going into the holidays full on. Uh, thank you for taking your time with being with me today. I wish you a merry, merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. Um, I wish for all of those of you that 
have had loved ones or animal friends cross over. I offer this blessing to those loved ones and animal friends as appropriate. Bless these animals and loved ones on their soul journey as appropriate. Hey, uh, hey, uh, bless those that are here, specifically those that come to my live streams that have had emotional troubling as a result. Bless them to release their grief as appropriate. Hey, uh, hey, oh, yeah, hey, uh, hey, oh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, how 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 these souls are very blessed Oh, so I love you all, love you all, love you all. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you all. I wish you a wonderful holiday, a wonderful Christmas time. I will be back on Tuesday, the 26th. And I look forward to serving you then when we cover Da Fu Wu, the greatest service. We'll wrap up the 10 Da's on the following day. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye-bye, everybody. See you later.